Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here in today's video we'll be finally testing out the official WinLater Android 10.0 final version on my low end Mali GPU Android device. The device which I'm using in today's video is my Redmi K50i which has only 6GB of RAM out of which only 1700MB is actually available and it comes with the Mali G610 GPU. If you guys don't already know WinLater Android 10.0 is the biggest update in terms of adding universal graphics driver support for Mali GPU Android devices. So here you'll be able to see added voltage Votec support for Mali devices and Votec is basically a universal graphics driver which is capable of emulating games like GTA 5 on unsupported GPU Android devices. In today's video, we'll be finally setting up this brand new version of WinLater Android on my low end Mali GPU Android device with MediaTek Dimensity processor and we'll find out how well does it actually work. So first of all, let's start by applying the best settings. We'll go to settings here, box 64, make sure to set it to 0.3.4. Afterwards, we'll create our own performance preset by duplicating it and setting this save flags level to zero. Afterwards tap on ok and create yourself a brand new container by tapping on the plus button. In terms of graphics driver on Mali GPU Android devices you will be able to see Votec has been auto selected because WinLater recognizes the device that you are using and if you have Snapdragon Turnip will be auto selected. For today's video we will be going with Votec and in terms of Vulkan version you will need to make sure to set it to 1.3. Device memory should be 4096 MB or 4GB. Afterwards exposed extension should be 70 out of 70. Make sure to enable show FPS, enable pulse audio. Now one thing that is really amazing about using Votec graphics driver instead of the Virgil that we used to use previously is that Virgil is capped to Wine D3D as well as you can't run DirectX 10, 11, 12 games etc. But Votec does not have any such restriction. You can use DX wrapper without any issues and that is its biggest plus point. We'll be going with the most stable DXVK wrapper which is the 1.10.3. Once that has been done, we'll just go ahead and go to the advanced settings. Make sure to select the performance preset that we created. Set the startup selection as aggressive and that's about it. Tap on the tick mark option and here we go. Our container will be successfully created. Now that the container has been created, let's start the simulator and finally find out if this brand new Votec graphics driver works well on Mali GPU Android devices or not. Now there are a few things which I am most concerned about. The first being lack of RAM, but I forgot to downscale the screen resolution. So I'll be going with the 854 by 480p screen size for best amount of performance possible but as you just saw the win later container boots up without any problem let's toggle full screen and go to the start section where we'll be testing out direct 3d by going into system tools make sure to choose dash direct 3d and let's find out if the graphical output is working or not with the Votec graphics driver and here we go finally the graphical output is here on Mali GPU Android devices with the help of Votex graphics driver Virgil while being universal driver it does not have best compatibility with newest games so it is actually not useful at all nonetheless we'll just go ahead and close the direct 3d test let's tap on the ok button and immediately start testing out some games the first game that i'll be testing out is the original assassin's creed 3 and i'll be testing out the direct text 10 version instead of the direct text 9 to see if DirectX 10 games are working or not. So I have double tapped on it. Let's just go ahead and open task manager. Unfortunately, it crashed. Now this is a common bug with Assassin's Creed. The game crashes multiple times until it actually opens. So here we go guys. Assassin's Creed has successfully booted. Let's just go ahead and toggle input controls because virtual game pairs never work properly. I am super excited because I have been troubled so many times by using trash emulators for my Mali GPU Android device. But now finally WinLater can be ran officially on our Android device with the help of Votec graphics driver and the proof is here for yourself we are about to try out and play Assassin's Creed original game let's tap on the enter button to skip our cutscene and here we go the game has started let's just go ahead and create any profile and tap on the enter button hopefully the loading is completed or the game might crash I'm not really sure well guys the game had frozen on 0.1 FPS for a few seconds so I was actually worried but no after I waited for a few seconds the game is now progressing as you'll be able to see it gets stuck at few FPSs but after a few seconds it progresses further and there we go guys assassin's creed has successfully started on my mali gpu android device you guys will be able to see it is working at straight up 11 fps and all the graphics are being rendered properly without any issues which means this is really a big deal as we are able to emulate as we are finally able to emulate pc games on our mali gpu android devices easily with the help of winlater android the next game that i want to try out is going to be grand theft auto 4 it is one of the best games that you can try out on mali gpu android devices 
and if this video reaches 250 likes i'll be testing out gta 5 as well so make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel let's go grand theft auto 4 it has successfully booted i had so much issues with graphics uh, while testing out gta 4 on this particular android device previously in emulators like winlater mali etc none of the emulators were able to give me proper graphical output it was always a black screen but let's find out if the developer of winlater android has done some amazing magic so there we go grand theft auto 4 has successfully started on my android device so let's tap on the play button afterwards we'll change some settings uh, and downscale the graphics resolution here in graphics i'll make sure to turn down the settings for all disable vsync as well as definition once you apply the settings tap on the a button and finally we can start testing out grand theft auto 4 on our low end mali gpu android device the loading process will take a lot of time i am pretty sure because this device only has uh, 6 gb of ram out of which let's just go ahead and check out the task manager you'll be able to see cpu usage is pretty decent and in terms of memory 87 percent of the memory is being used a uh, battery temperature as well as everything else you'll be able to see like the wattage so let's wait and find out how well does it actually work here we go guys the cousins belly starting a new game let's go finally the first cutscene i'll just cut and press the a button multiple times to skip it and there we go loading and hopefully the game works i can see the fps has frozen let's go to task manager and here you'll be able to see gta 4 is actually running at very less ram which means the game has crashed as you'll be able to see i have been completely shocked and surprised gta 4 has actually booted on my mali gpu android device and you'll be able to see we are getting almost 25 fps oh my god this is unbelievable guys this has never been seen before this has never happened trust me we are literally emulating gta 4 on our mali gpu android device pretty easily and i am sure that now we can finally emulate gta 5 as well obviously with graphical issues but with the help of Vortex driver it is finally possible to use DirectX now and emulate your favorite pc games on your mali gpu android devices so yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye and peace out